Good day, beautiful kings and queens. The title of this video is called How to Escape the Matrix. So I have my car in the shop right now, so I decided to take advantage of the time I'm here and take a walk, get some exercise in, get my body moving a little bit. So if you see me looking around, it's because I'm taking a walk in nature. <laughs> All right, let's get right into it. First off, what is the matrix? The matrix is working 40 plus hours or more like a robot. Day in, day out, same routine. Society's way to dumb us down. Work was really made to stop boredom back in the day but let's be real let's get into this I don't want to work 40 plus hours for the rest of my life you have to ask some people some jobs they have to ask when it goes to the bathroom um, you have to some jobs you have to work a whole year before you get one week vacation <laughs> And society wants us to think, oh, that's great. So we've been brainwashed to thinking, oh, girl, I got my year in. Bam, I get my one-week vacation. We are hype about a one-week vacation when the rich, really wealthy, financially blessed, they will be like, I have to work 365 days before you tell me I get a seven-day vacation. And I have to let you know when I want to take that vacation. Before the time even kicks in, will you pay for me one little week? So I can't go out of town when I want to. Um, I can't take a day off when I want to. I have to let you know my every step. So let's just break this down here. Then I have to work another 365 days. You really want to break it down 328 days to get seven more days off and if i've been here about five years i might get a two-week vacation so out of 365 days i get seven days so the other 328 days i gotta be a slave to society it just doesn't sit right so how to escape the matrix, how to get out of being a robot, having people tell you what to do, when to do it, to get your money to do what we came here in life to be free. I'm a researcher. I've been studying for a long time. People in my family, close friends and celebrities who have made it big. Diversify your money. Diversify the way you make your money every rich person that's financially rich i have studied has diversified their money what do i mean by this they have multiple streams of income let's be for real even if you have a government job that's your only source of income and you making great money have a great salary going on that's not my inspiration because look at just what happened. Government shut down. You got these people making these top dollars. They only have one source of income. And when that went away, they were standing in the line to get food. Because you still have to pay your mortgages, your car notes, kids still have to eat. You know, you still have to have gas to put in your vehicle to get around. So some of them literally was going out looking for another job. My mentor says job is the acronym for his J-O-B, just over broke. So, that's not an inspiration for me. I mean, it's awesome to have a good J-O-B, but my inspiration is multiple streams of income. Have a J-O-B that you don't have to put in 40 hours. Hey, I don't even want to put in 30 hours at somebody else's companies who make them money. Have 
open up your own business get an llc a sole proprietorship that's another stream of income you can't rely solely on that in the first five years let's be for real because it takes time anybody who tell you it don't take time they're not telling you the truth so you might have to still have that job while you have that business because for me for example one week I did awesome with my small business I started I mean I had I sold five pieces that week custom made pieces I make that was awesome money for that week but I didn't sell another piece for two and a half months later that's why I say have multiple streams of income you know because that week I had um, sold three pieces that I just made where you can shop and two pieces that was custom made orders that was an awesome week for a small business entrepreneur but like I said it was two, almost three months before I got another um, sale so in the meantime still going to work do I 40 plus hours no because then I wouldn't have time to build my brand and work on my stuff and that's still not enough diversify your money even more utilize so some of you are so talented utilize the talents that God has given us um, if you have a home even if you're not a homeowner or, or even if you don't have um, a house or you, maybe you just have an apartment that you're renting get a roommate I know y'all like I want to live by myself oh trust me I've been there I had so many people when I did move into my house I had so many people telling me older people I mean people old enough to be my mom dad grandparents even people old enough to be my grandparents they say stuff a nickname get somebody in there to help you out don't try to do that by yourself you know but society try to brainwash us to think oh that's what's up she doing it by herself no it took me years to understand when i finally grasped that thing oh best thing ever get you a roommate or two or three whatever you gotta do the chinese do it the mexicans do it the arabics do it why we're not doing it they have money to do what they want to do when they want to do it why aren't we doing it so diversify your money in that way you know you all can help each other instead of you paying all those bills those taxes um repairs i mean getting new appliances and stuff now you have two three or four people maybe one person with you helping you share so instead of you paying all that money they giving you something a month that's going toward the bottom line of you building up your home or your apartment that's another stream of income coming in you don't ever want to get to the place where you don't have enough income coming in you don't ever want to be just at one income because if you get laid off from that Chrysler that Ford job let's be for real first in first out I've seen it happen several times I live in a motor city this person making all this money at this plant then layoff time come they've been there less than a year they laid off some of them indefinitely some of them might come back six seven months from now but you still got six seven months of no money coming in and don't rely on the unemployment you know that's barely nothing you can't even pay all your stuff especially if you got all these fancy cars you got to pay car notes for mortgages um these furs that you're spending these chicks buying these and don't get me wrong you know do what you you know you work you folks and you have nice things but people be taking out loans to buy rent purses to rent furs and stuff with one stream of income you better save up your money and get that stuff or just wait on that stuff you know because then you be spending a rock in a hard place this is going to be one of my longer videos because this is so real if we grasp these concepts it won't be so bad so let's just say also youtube i've been researching this for some years i just started actually started it last year 
but I didn't really start really making videos until this year. But I've been researching people on YouTube. Anything you start off with takes time to grow. But some people getting checks just doing YouTube videos, y'all, for like $2,500 a month, extra $2,000 a month or whatever. But I look back at their history. Like I said, always go back to how they started. It took some of them years to build up that momentum, but they kept on going. This one brother um, has over a million subscribers. The first two years, he ain't hardly had no subscribers, but he kept on going. And sometimes not even subscribers, it's views. He's sharing information that helps. That brother helped me. I watch his videos. He helped me change my life. You know, it shouldn't be Oh, come on, let's go on a trip. Oh, I don't got no money. Why? Why? You know, might not go on a big trip, but we should have at least something in the next area if we want to take a road trip. Come on now. You know, some of you talent. Some of you know how to do hair. Some of you have a very nice car where you can Uber or need taxi services. I mean, let me tell y'all. It was one point when I was teaching, I was just teaching part-time. It was a uh, program I was teaching in where the money was good, but the hours sucked. So I wasn't really making much a week. So I started diversifying my money because at that time there were pay cuts. Everybody know education in Michigan, let's be for real. So I'm not a hairstylist but I know how to do some things some people don't. So I remember one week I did five people here. That's good because I wasn't a hairstylist. I did two French braids. I did a, um, a sew-in. And this dude wanted some, um, his dreads retwisted. I had, um, I'm not gonna charge him with the shop charge because I'm not a professional hairstylist, but it's good enough where you go to the shop, pay a hundred bucks, he don't want to pay that. My brother just give me 30. That's an extra $30 right there. Now imagine times five, okay? And imagine if I did that consistently for a month. That's money, y'all. That's like a part-time job right there. Just doing something, utilizing one of my talents. Another thing, it doesn't always have to be just talents. You can, as I used to call, I guess, the barter system. You can swap out talents. It doesn't always have to be money, but in the long run, it's saving you money. If you know somebody has kids, they need you to watch their kids, and you want them to do your hair because they know a technique that you don't, okay, I watched your kids, you do my hair. Damn. I'm saving money, you're saving money. We're helping each other out. Something else. Some of you are very talented in tutoring. You know how many people that contact me for tutoring their kid? <sighs> oh my goodness. I've utilized that too before, you know, because sometimes you'll get um, the parents that get all these books and stuff, and they're like, girl, I don't know what to do with this. So, you know, make some money tutoring somebody's kid. You know, done that a couple of times. There's so many ways we can make money where we don't have to be stressed out in somebody's job over 40 plus hours. And then we want to go somewhere, but we can't go because we too darn tired. That's the matrix. I don't want to live to work. I want to be able to work to live. And you telling me I can't go out of town until a year from now because that's how your contract is set up? No, I want to be able to go out of town next month if I want to. So, if you can do it part-time and have multiple streams of income coming in, that is awesome. I, I, I'm just not about that life of putting in more hours with somebody else's company than putting in more hours with my own company or with self-improvement to 
improve myself. Now, if you love, if you love what you do, go ahead, put in 60 hours, because then it's not work for you, it's your passion. You know, I know one lady, she's a nurse, she absolutely love it. I know another lady, she's a nurse, she absolutely can't stand it. So it depends on what you're passionate about. Find what you love and go for it. You know, how to escape the matrix. Part two, this is part two. Living above your means. Stop taking out so many damn loans. So many loans. If you know you only bring in this amount of money and your rent is this or your mortgage is this, your car note. Some of you shouldn't even have car notes. You should just have you a little something to get you back and forth until you can afford a car note. But if you have a car note, that's fine in some situations. But loans, loans, loans. Payday loans. What the hell are you payday loan loaning for? Excuse my French. Sometimes if, if the money is not tight that week. You probably can't go out to Benny Hanna's or this, that, and the other. You know, you save up and do that later. But if we diversify in our money, we'd be able to do what we want to do when we want to do it. You know, it's so many more things I want to do and get to a place that I'm working on now to diversify my money so I can do what I want to do when I want to do it. You know, own your stuff. If you can, sometimes you got to discipline yourself so you can own it because just because you got it, the bank could come take it anytime. Could come repo your car, take your house, you know. I'm just saying. Part three school, what I didn't know that I wish I knew before I got my degree. I'm not knocking school by any means, but it's a smarter way to do things. And I wasn't told this because. The people before me, they didn't even know this. But now we know, so we're going to help those who are going. And I'm not going to even say kids because it's a lot of um, grown-ups going back to school as well. Let me, let me give you some tips that I've learned. I hope this really helps. Don't take out so many loans. There are so many programs out here where they will pay you a certain amount of money to get that degree. Now, when you want to go further, um, they might not pay you to go further, but it's also programs out there too. What I mean by programs, they have some programs where the first two years of your schooling is paid when you are still in high school. Um, my little cousins, my nieces, we got them signed up with this. So the first two years are free, okay? talk to your high school counselor parents tell your kids to go talk to their counselors that's what they're there for kids go in there new in high school talk to your counselors tell them i don't want to have all these loans okay i don't want to be paying back loans forever if i can help it next thing essay writing contest if you're not the best essay writer you know you know people talk to one of your teachers they'll be happy to help you you know Talk to one of somebody in your family you admire or you think speak well or freaking go on YouTube and the internet. YouTube, free information. We didn't have growing up. Utilize the tools available to you. Enter those essay writing concepts. Get you a scholarship. You know, do those things. Some of you all that are older that work for certain companies, tuition reimbursement. Go and talk to your bosses. I've utilized the tuition reimbursement um, back in the day when I worked at Kids R Us. Now, I didn't know all of this stuff, but something I did know, and I had a great manager at the time, told me she saw me working hard, catching the bus to school and work this and the other, and I actually liked that job. I think I was 19, 20, something like that. She told me about a program. I had to fill out some paperwork, but did my did, did I sit down and fill out that paperwork? I sure did. They gave me a little bit of tuition reimbursement. I wish all the jobs did that. Also, when you research, if you know it's something you want to go to school for, 
can get you one of them J-O-B's just over broke jobs that are going to help with tuition reimbursement. You're like, where should I work? Look, look at their stuff. That will help you pick where you should work because then you know you're getting some of your money back. Because let me tell y'all, student loans are no joke. I've had my check garnished before. I've had them take my taxes before. I got smart on them, you know, but that's not going nowhere. So if you're thinking about going back to school, make sure it's working for you. Because really, sometimes you could diversify your money so much, you might not even need school. But that's a whole nother topic. But if you want to get those tools and that knowledge because knowledge is power you get the knowledge but don't pay so much to get the knowledge when you don't have to when we could just not be lazy and get it and the reason i say lazy now because there's too much information out here for us not go on somebody youtube page it's all there oh yeah i heard a dog y'all <laughs> a big one go on somebody's youtube page go to the libraries libraries are still available to us for free so just utilize what we have. How to escape the matrix part one. I'm going to check on my car, you all. I love you all. Kings and queens, enjoy this beautiful life we are given. I'll have a how to escape the matrix part two later on coming up. I have so much more information to give you. I hope this video has helped you. Remember, help yourself, help somebody else. Keep it going, keep it moving, you all. And remember, love is the main key. Mwah. Subscribe to my channel. Hit like, whatever you want to do. Comment. Share the video. Have a great day.